customer vehicle number two. Everyone, welcome to another episode of the Electric Supercar Channel. This will be the first episode in a new build. Let's get to it. We have a windy day. Sorry, this might be bad audio. This is car number two. How you doing? Good, how are you? The Nissan 300ZX, it was sold in the United States from 1984 to 1996. This one here is a 1992 model, a 2 plus 2. This is an iconic sports car from the 90s. This one is not the twin turbo. For this car, the customer is looking for say like 150 mile range, 200 mile range, uh, also looking for something relatively quick, kind of like a Model 3. They also wanna do things like air conditioning, First, we're gonna tear everything down to see where we can place things and what we can do to accommodate all the customer's wants. That's a good looking car. Outstanding. So what do you think about this? Man, that is just gorgeous. Is in really good condition. All right, those of you who know, let me know. This seems to be like almost like an add-on. It just, it pops out there like it's not OEM. Maybe it is though. Same thing on the other side. Yeah, I gotta love the roof. Just a really awesome car. And this is the, uh, I think they call it like a two by two. So it actually does have kind of back seats here. The customer did say if we need to use the space for things like batteries, we can do that. We have rolled the Porsche off the lift so we can get this new car in and the engine off. I'm on my own, broken along. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town. I'm searching for the lost and found. But you don't care, you're on the way. Okay, we are gonna start removing the exhaust. It is very nice and rusty. Uh, what are the chances we get that off without a torch? Alright, there's a couple more exhaust hangers that we can take off. So we're able to get the exhaust off. I, I shouldn't say exhaust, we got the mufflers off. So underneath the car here, again, this part back we got off and then we're running into some really stuck bolts. So we broke off three out of four and rounded one. So uh, we're likely just gonna chop things off. Again, I don't know that this uh, rusty exhaust, even though it's likely OEM, I don't know that that's gonna be worth anything. So we're gonna do that. Same sort of problem right here. We tried heating these up. These are just really stuck. During disassembly, you saw it here. That is cracked. I've never seen that happen to a socket. This is a craftsman socket, but that is insane. Use the wrench to get the other one off. No, I'm a doctor, not a mechanic. 
Come on, dude. I keep fighting it. I think I did too. Turn your head and cough. <laughs> <laughs> it's is it held on here? No. What? Oh, I wonder. Does it have like an axle in the middle? Okay. Yeah. So there you go. So I'm gonna do that again. I'm just gonna go down. Oof, there we go. Drive shaft removed. Nice. Oh my gosh. Whoever did the last oil change. Yeah, we gotta get the bigger breaker bar. Let's see how good we can be. Not too bad. Okay, you're off. So, here, why don't you come on there? The joys of getting out the differential. All right, rear drive shafts are disconnected. Okay. Wanna just push it go. that way? The way that you just A little bit more? It's hitting something. Almost. So I'm gonna go down. Okay, there it is. I'm just going down. Are you okay if I go down? Just watch your fingers. Okay, so now the block's gonna go. Okay, man it. You got it. Rear differential out. Oh my goodness. Oh, the second one wasn't that bad. Yeah, just that one was really tight. All right, it is finally a good enough day that we can have the garage open. And of course, who wants to join? This is Finn. Hey. He's like seven or eight months old. The rear axle has a nut that is larger than anything I've got. So we had to buy a new socket. Look at the size of that one. 36 millimeter. All right, so this has got a unique piece here and I thought, geez, I'm gonna buy a special tool to get this off. But really, it's just kind of a dust cover. So we kind of found that you could just kind of literally like take it off. It's, there's no thread, no threads or anything. All right, we're gonna give this one a try before we use the torch. My guess is like everything else, these axle nuts are always so hard to get off. But this one did have a special dust cover, so maybe that helps. Oh my gosh. I think I got it without heat. It's still very stuck, but uh, maybe it's because it's a 36. Boom. Yeah, it's coming right out. These are like the easiest ones ever. Oh my gosh, you see that smoke? Ta-da! <sighs> Might have to go do the parking brake a little tighter. Be right back. That's awesome though. Didn't have to use the torch on either one. Ow. X. 
axle shaft number two. Well, we're gonna put the tires back on. Just the weight of the car can be off the jack and back on the tires. All right, everyone, we got a great new build here. I'm really excited. Uh, this episode, we kind of got most of the exhaust off. We got the differential drive shafts off. So we got a lot more to come, but I wanted to get you a video because I'm super excited about this build. So that'll do it for this time. See you next time. Ouch. Yeah, they got good hardware in here. I see it. If you take out the last one, it'll kind of come crashing down. Oh, I can't have nice things. Looking for, what do I want to say? For this particular car, the customer is looking for a, an EV conversion. Yeah, that works.